on. Stop fucking these bitches raw, too, that ain't about shit. Stop fucking these women raw. I always tell niggas, if her baby here, if her edges ain't even laid right, that bitch don't even probably keep her pussy clean. Fuck that. <laughs>
it's just like, ugh, it's too much, you know what I mean? That That's a whole nother conversation in itself, too, about just heterosexual and what a man is supposed to be and stuff and all that. And it's just like, guys don't have no emotional support. And the one place he should, at least in this day and time, in 2017, is he should be able to, if he's single, I mean, if he's with someone, is to be able to come to his woman and talk to his woman, you ladies, you, to let him lay his head in your lap and let him talk to you about his dreams, his fears, or whatever. And this is the thing, too, when a man tells you something that is deep, that is something that he's been holding or whatever, just something he wanted to share with you, don't throw it back in that man's face because here's the one thing I learned. And I learned this from an old school queen. And she taught me something. Or she. He taught me something. Um, when, you know, I was very young. And I learned this. And it's, it's, it's helped me now. If you make a man feel safe, he'll tell you everything. If you don't make him feel safe, he ain't gonna tell you shit. And a lot of times you girls have, yeah, you might still be with this nigga. But he won't tell you nothing because you fucked up. You sat up there and ran your mouth to Kim. You sat up there and told this person. Or you threw it back in his face making him feel this fucking small. And you don't realize that a man's ego is only this fucking big. He may make it seem like it's this small. But you will bruise that nigga's ego and it will hurt his feelings. Another thing too. You women be verbally assaulting dudes. Like just saying some of the most fucked up shit. And it be like. No wonder you getting your head knocked off. No wonder this nigga's kicking your ass because of what you saying. Now, I'm not saying that it's right that a man should be putting his hands on a woman, but I'm going to tell you this. Not every man was raised like that. Bitch, you can get it too. So, <laughs> I tell girls, you have to be careful. Now, look, you can't just be rolling up on men and saying what you want to say because you think that he's going to follow that rule of, oh, I'm a woman and he's not going to hit me. Bitch, he's going to knock your beak off and you're going to be sitting there looking stupid with a broke jaw. You know what I mean? It's like you got to still watch what you say. That still is a man. Granted, you may be hurt, but still watch what you say sometimes. You know, especially if you with a nigga you know can whip your ass. Ain't even no point in even fucking arguing with that nigga. You better write that shit in a letter and mail that shit off and tell him how you feel once you have two states over from that nigga and he can't find you. But other than that, like I'm like I said, it's not right. But I'm just saying, you a man needs to be able to come and talk to you and open up to you and stuff. Bitch, I'm tired of talking to these niggas late at night about your ass. <laughs> And I tell him, that's how another bitch get in on your man. Oh, he cheated on me. No, he cheated. You know why he cheated on you? Sometimes a nigga may tell you, oh, it's, you know, I was, I was, I just, you know, fucked her. It was just a nut. But nah, sometimes what it was is that woman found that man at a vulnerable moment because he needed that emotional love and support from your ass. But since you wasn't getting it, he found it from the bitch at work or he found it from the bitch at, at the check cash in place or he found it at the bitch that's down at the gym working on her figure and shit while your ass is laid up there ain't doing shit you know what I mean you a guy wants to still feel needed wants to feel still wanted a lot of you guys need to man down a lot of you women need to man down sometimes some of y'all coming off like niggas so much like dudes that it's just like it's a turn off to dudes or you wonder, especially, I hate to say this, particularly black women, you know what I mean? But then at the same time, I also understand the black woman struggle. A lot of times there's a lot of women that had to be strong because this nigga was a loser, you know what I mean? And stuff. And, and, and like I said, once again, that's one of them conversations that we just got to go deep, but we ain't got much time. I'm going to have a group of people and we're going to get into that. But like I'm saying is ladies, just don't lose your man because here's another thing I'm going to give you. I'm going to be keep it real with you. I mean, y'all know I always keep it real. I say what I got to say. Bitch, you better stop being not listening to your man and, 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 and making sure you take care of your man and doing what you want because a nigga like me might slip up on your nigga too. And you'll never know about me, bitch, because I'll always be in the shadows. But all I'm saying, and no, I'm just playing. All I'm saying is, you know, love your man. See about him. Make sure he's good. Stop. Trust him. It, needs, it, it can't be one-sided. You know what I mean? If this man is trusting you and, and, and giving you <clears throat> all the time and the attention and the love and stuff, it needs to be the same way. Give him that trust. When he's with his boys, give him that trust. Because I tell girls all the time, don't stop me. Oh, well, he going to the club some other bitch. Niggas will fuck the bitch at Home Depot, bitch. What you talking about? I didn't see that. I be hanging with the niggas. I see how they get at girls and shit. Why they still got girls? Like, I see that shit. So, I know it ain't gonna be at the club. I was, oh, fuck the club, bitch. I, 
Hell, I didn't fuck the nigga out at the meat department aisle at motherfucking Safeway, bitch. What you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to tell you that was in my past before I when I was when I used to be a hoe, but I ain't no hoe no more. <laughs> but no, for real, like. I always tell girls, like, if a man's going to cheat, he's going to cheat. He doesn't need the club. It's, it's, granted, okay, you might feel like, oh, it's more of an easier way for him to cheat. But honestly, if a nigga want to cheat, he don't need the club. Like, you get out of that old mindset. Whoever, all that shit, back in the day, you would want to call while I'm doing this. Back in the day, you know what I mean? It was, it was, it was. It was easier to cheat or whatever. It was easy to cheat on your man or whatever because of the fact that it was that was all, that was the only place to cheat. Now we got Twitter, motherfucking Instagram, Tinder, all these other apps that you can fucking cheat on that you don't need the club. So that's why I tell women all the time, you got to give your man some trust. If you don't if you can't trust that nigga, why are you even with him? Honestly, if you can't trust him, why are you with him? Go on with your life. Who wants that headache? Because, honestly, it's a turnoff when you keep calling your man five times a day, all on FaceTime, trying to see what the fuck he's doing. That's going to make a nigga walk off and look at the next bitch. Sometimes, this may not really even have much, but stop watching these reality shows. Stop watching these love and hip-hops. Stop watching these motherfucking housewives or whoever's county. Stop watching these drama realities because a lot of you bitches is sitting at home and I just got to call it like a see. If it's going to come out, it's going to come out. But if you got to look, snoop, you don't need to be with him, boo-boo. Move. Leave. But same thing too, man. Stop staying around chicks that are doing that. Some of the drama that you going through is because of that fact that you choose to stay here with the bitch. And then, God forbid, you have a child by her. Oh, God, that even makes it more worse sometimes. Stop fucking these bitches raw, too, that ain't about shit. Man, you got to realize what type of woman you have. And start, stop looking at titties and ass all the time. Titties and ass is great, but what does that personality do? What does she do for your soul? Is she motivating you? Is she encouraging you? Is she uplifting you? Nigga, do she suck your dick good so good you want to go and tell your boss you want to be the manager in the next six months? Nigga, what is she doing for you? And I don't even mean sexually. Is she on your team? Is she your supporter? Is she... Hey, if that bitch ain't doing that, why are you with her? Nigga, you ain't got nothing but a bitch that you... A warm body you fucking on every goddamn day. And some of you bitches sound like they be telling me too. Some of y'all ain't even on your job at that. Oh, bitch. Oh, raggedy bitch. You ain't even fucking the nigga. Like I said, a nigga like me fuck around. Fuck you, man. You better stop. <laughs> I'm playing, nigga. But listen, like... You gotta be on your job. Like, I'm not saying, I mean, ideally, no. Nobody's gonna wanna have, well, some people don't like always have sex every day, all day. No, we get that. I mean, realistically, no. But you need to make sure you keep your man. That's another thing that will make a man look somewhere else. Or at least get that part. He might get everything else from you, but he might get that other part somewhere else. And you don't, and if you are the type of woman that will have a problem with your man stepping out, then you need to be making sure you're doing everything you need to be doing as a as his wife or as his girlfriend so that he want. You know what I mean? I tell dudes all the time too. Sometimes if you if you the type of nigga that just can't stay faithful, start getting with bitches that is okay with it, not settling with it, that is okay with you stepping out. There's a lot of girls that don't give a fuck that's cool with that. Find that bitch. Then you won't have so much drama. You know what I mean? But like I said, you guys got to start paying attention. My grandma used to tell me this. I ain't had to apply this information yet, but I'm going to give it to y'all. She said, Christopher, if you ever with a woman and you want to know why she a certain way, check her mama. Y'all need to start checking these bitches' mama if she around or whoever raised them. Start checking their mama, see how they are. That'll tell you a lot about how much that girl is and what she's about. Start looking at, that's why I tell, I told one of my friends, from now on, you need to run all bitches by me. I need to know all the girls you talking to, cause I'm gonna be watching these bitches' personality. Did she get you? <laughs> did she get you a plate, nigga? Before she, before she, uh, 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 when she, when, when y'all was at the at the Thanksgiving dinner, did she make your plate first? I'm gonna be watching that kind of shit, you know. Or when when times they come, was she just a selfish ass raggedy bitch and just wanted chocolates and flowers and she didn't give this you a goddamn thing? Niggas wanna feel special too, bitch. Niggas want to feel important, use important men, use kind and nice. 
men want to feel important. Y'all be over here letting TV and fantasy land think that all oh, men don't. Niggas want to want gifts too. Shit, what? Well, it ain't just about you. That's why I say stop making one sided. Cause you can't keep being one sided. Nigga gonna find him two side bitches. And why you want to be one sided? Here's another thing too, man. Stop letting. Like I said, there's a lot of good dudes with a lot of with a, with good hearts. But at the same time, don't let these women manipulate you into staying in the relationships. One thing I've seen men be like, oh, I don't want to kick her out because she got kids. Fuck that, her and her kids. Nigga, what about you? What about your emotions? What about your feelings? I'm not saying kick her out where she ain't got nowhere, but set her up where she can go in a women's shelter. Set her up where she can go with her cousin or somebody. Make sure, but at the end of the day, if especially if the woman is living in your house, and you know what I mean, it's not the other way around. You know what I mean? Or or just let's just say the relationship period. If you've done all you can do for the woman and, and she's not trying to change and, and you argue like why are you with her? Why are you still standing there? Leave. What about you? If you're supposed to have peace in your home, if you can't have peace in a home where the place that you pay money to, what the fuck are you doing? If the bitch is just causing drama, if she always starting stuff, she always got shit going on, she ain't happy with you, she ain't happy with herself, you know what I mean? Like, let her go. Like, don't let no, oh, I don't have nowhere to go if you kick me out. Well, that's not your problem. Especially if them ain't your kids. That ain't your problem. I'm serious. I mean, some people might be like, damn, that's fucked up, that's rude. But nigga, if I done done, I can do, you, you, I, I've heard niggas tell me, how they are trying to better themselves. They're going to school or they finding a better job. And women will purposely get mad because a nigga trying to step up and do something. It's like, first you hollering at men because they ain't doing nothing. They're lazy and trifling. Then you get a man that's doing something and trying to be something and becoming something to step his game up. Not only just to maybe try to impress you or nothing, but just for himself as a man trying to do something. And you raggedy bitch getting mad because this nigga doing something. Oh, you ain't never home. Bitch, you out in the streets hustling. What the fuck you doing? You should be hustling. You on the team. You supposed to be helping, nigga. Girl, what you doing? You know what I mean? I've seen dudes out here trying to do better. And y'all not giving them no credit. And I'm here to give all my men, especially my black men, Credit, you doing right. You doing good. Keep doing good. It keep encouraging yourself. If this bitch ain't ain't helping encourage you, that ain't the hoe you should be with. Next person. Cause for real, it's time like ladies, if you sit next to your man, kiss on that nigga, rub on that nigga, let him talk to you. Cause I'm telling you, cause if you're not, another bitch will.